I didn't even know that anyone was doubting me, so it was pretty easy. I, I didn't really consider any other options. I kind of knew from a very early age that I was going to be going to college. Even after I was diagnosed with autism when I was four, they continued to kind of ingrain into my mind that I was going to go to college. People were telling my parents, you know you're going to regret this later, she's not going to do it. Took the regular Core 40 curriculum that's a standard here in Indiana. Just the accountability that I had to have in all my classes, my teachers telling me to advocate for myself and my experiences outside the classroom that I feel helped me prepare the most because it wasn't so much the knowledge that was standing in my way, it was the communication ability and the life experience and stuff like that. I was dead set on Indianapolis because it had a resource center, like an entire building for services for people with disabilities, and I figured I may need that. But where I go now is nearby. My mother had to drag me over here, set one foot on the campus, and I was immediately in love with it. Really, the biggest difference is that this campus was a little smaller, and it did not have a resource center, which that's kind of the reason why I chose this. It would be more of a challenge, and I've always been drawn to that and I was accepted on Halloween uh, before my senior year. I was in my Marsha Brady costume when I got the call. I am taking 14 credit hours, but two of which are choir, so really there's 12 for academic classes, and I treat college like a full-time job because in a way it is. Even though I know I'm gonna graduate, I still don't see that as a reason to not try hard, and. Every Monday I meet with my sorority, I'm in Zeta Ta Alpha, and on Wednesdays I meet with Student Congress. In April I was elected as an at-large representative, and most recently I've been in the progress of starting my own group, the Autism Youth Ambassadors, with, with a team of 14 other students, and my academic advisor, who also serves as our faculty advisor. Even though it can be stressful at times, it helps me stay focused and helps me prioritize better. And, and seeing all my sorority sisters and my friends who are involved, it's inspired me because I want to get more involved and do more now. Well, my parents definitely help me. I'm, they help me more with like the adjustment to things aside from job and grad school. like like moving into an apartment eventually and being able to get around things like that they help me with because my parents do have more life experience and they've been extremely helpful and they've been supportive in everything that I do but they do help me somewhat with career and grad school but really my academic advisor Dr. Bromley is, helps me know what my options are and there are a bunch of programs throughout the school year for seniors that a that are set up to make the transition easier. And then I also really wanted to be a writer, which I still do write every single day. And no matter what path I ultimately choose, I, one of my goals is definitely to get a novel or something published. I've been writing since I was 13. And because one of my teachers actually used that as a safer outlet for my anxiety. Like I used to bang my head against desks, chairs, anything nearby that was hard. I, I didn't like how it felt. I just didn't know any other way and I was very impulsive at the time. My English teacher in eighth grade saw I had a, was good at writing and she told me to go into the hallway for a minute, take my notebook and write about how I felt. And after that, I began writing little books and stapling them together, making covers and my friends would read them. Don't wait until you graduated to start looking, especially if the dream is to go to college. The, being an early bird really helps, Look, and knowing your options. Your school will likely have a couple resources on college transition for all students, so take advantage of those. Keep an open mind about what you can do, but if you really do want to go to college, don't put that out of the question, even if people say that you won't be able to make it, you can make it, you just need to work at it.
You have to put your trust in yourself because you know what you're capable of doing and you have to find a way to communicate that to other people. When you achieve it, they'll see just how strong of a person you are. Being accepted into college was probably the proudest moment of my life.